Hello, welcome to episode number 17, the February episode of Curiosity, the science show. What moved science in the last month? So the, this show brings the major international breakthroughs, the cutting edge of the science, plus of course news, observances and opportunities. So please stay tuned. So the first part of curiosity is about the research, you know. So this section is about psychology and behavior related research. The first story of this episode is childhood neglect was associated with Machiavellianism, psychopathy and narcissism. All these are dark triad of trait we have covered quite often times in curiosity. So which in turn were related to greater levels of malevolent creativity as adults when the ch children grow up as adults who were more likely to think about ways to take revenge on others fabricate lies to simplify a solution and pull pranks you know i recently came across an african proverb that summarizes this study the child who is not embraced by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth you see the child who is not embraced by the village will burn it down to feel the warmth so it's all about the community interaction and belongingness you know so that is really important for parenting the next story is about political polarization the lack of respect and open-mindedness in political discussions may be due to the effective polarization what does that mean the belief those with opposing views are immoral or unintelligent Intellectual humility, the willingness to change belief when presented with evidence was linked to the lower affective polarization. So the key to get rid of this affective polarization is intellectual humility. COVID-19 pandemic has led to significant worsening of already poor dietary habits, low activity levels, sedentary behavior and high alcohol consumption among the university students. So it's quite alarming. U.S. politicians who engage in negative partisanship, referring to hostile, non-substantive rhetoric about opposing party, or statement emphasizing defeats of partisan opponents are not rewarded with higher evaluations from the citizen. You know, this kind of studies we have uh, featured in earlier episodes of the Curiosity 2, uh, especially with the political violence. Uh, that is going to backlash the political parties who resort to the violence, you know, that many studies have uh, came across the same, uh, you know, the conclusion. So waters don't want representation focused around the polarization. So that is a key takeaway message. Shortening the work week, that is actually from five days a week to four days a week, reduces the smoking and obesity and improves overall health. That is what a study from France shows. You know, we have covered this earlier as well in, in Curiosity, you know, the, the general trend is the more you work, the more stress your uh, entire life becomes. How individuals with dark personality traits react to COVID-19? People high in narcissism and psychopathy were less likely to engage in cleaning behaviors. People with narcissism have a negative response to the pandemic as it restricts their ability to exploit others within the social system, you see, very interesting. Entitled people with low humility and low inquisitiveness are more prone to believe in the conspiracy theories. These individuals tend to exhibit heightened narcissism and antagonism along with reduced intellectual humility, impulse control and inquisitiveness. Masculine insecurity predicts endorsement of aggressive politics and support for Donald Trump, such as three studies, supporting the notion that men who are likely to doubt their masculinity may support aggressive policies, politicians and parties, possibly as a means of affirming their manhood. Yet another uh, masculinity related story is that when men's masculinity feels threatened, they may attempt to restore it by withdrawing from the relationship that could provide care and support. Not only could this harm the relationship and affect the romantic partner, but this tactic may not restore masculinity in the eyes of others. People in the US with more authoritarian tendencies are less likely to wear a mask when going out in public, which might be explained by the fact that they also tend to be less concerned about the impact of COVID-19. 
young children aged 4 and 6 who have experienced compassionate parenting are more generous to others than their peers. Mothers who express compassionate love and empathy provide an early example of pro-social orientation toward needs of others. New research suggests that the use of terms like Wuhan flu and Chinese virus by conservative media outlets and Republican figures had a measurable impact on the unconscious bias against Asian Americans, including Indian Americans, you know, Indian settled in uh, the US. So the study found that implicit bias increased after the use of such phrases went viral. Quite alarming trend. Men in military who were randomly assigned to mixed gender squads for eight weeks developed more egalitarian attitudes than those assigned male squads. Contrary to some predictions, the integration of women in the squads did not reduce the male recruiters' performance. So this is a study from Norwegian randomized control trial. Conservatives are more likely to see empirical, that is scientific and experimental, that is anecdotal perspectives as more equal in legitimacy. Liberals think empirical evidence is better at approximating the reality. Conservatives are more likely to say that both research and anecdotes were legitimate. Never trust anecdotes. Coming to humanities, politics and policies related stories, US states that rely on private prisms incarcerate more people for a longer period of time, according to first of its kind study that establishes a causal connection between private prisons and incarceration, you see. So the private entities need money, you know, and that is why they extend the stay of the prisoners. So that is really, really alarming. I'm really happy that we don't really have any private prison concept here in India. You know, so states have agreement with the private prison companies that guarantee a certain percentage occupancy. So if the state doesn't lock up enough people, they have to pay the prison company. You see, that is uh, why this uh, this kind of problems arise. A national mask mandate in the U.S. early in the COVID-19 pandemic could have led to as much as 47 percentage less deaths by the end of May which roughly translates to up to 47,000 saved lives. But unfortunately, there were no mass mandate in early COVID-19 period, unlike here in India, you see. And co coronavirus India COVID-19 response saved over 1 lakh lives. That is what the new economic survey says. So we are really thankful about the mass mandate, which has been imposed here in India early in times. So gig economy company. So gig economy is about the free market where uh, most of the workers, uh, you know, they only have short stints of, uh, uh, you know, wage, you know, so daily workers. Uh, it doesn't have any permanent employees. So this kind of gig economy companies like Uber and Lyft rely on a model that resembles anti-labor practices employed decades before by the U.S. construction industry and could lead to similar erosion in earnings of the workers. That is what the new study finds. Providing workers with universal basic income did not reduce productivity or amount of effort they put in their work. So according to an experiment, a sign that the policy initiative could help mitigate inequalities and debunking a common criticism of the proposal. Supporters of political party changed their policy views immediately and substantially after the party switches its position on an issue, a sign that political allies could be shaping the opinions of the voters. Findings call into question whether democracies genuinely represent the views of the voters. Each additional dollar of minimum wage reduces infant deaths up to 1.8 percentage annually and reduces teen birth rate by 3 percentage in large US cities. These findings support the increasing demand for the federal minimum wage to be raised from $7.25 to $15 per hour. Critics say green policies stifle growth. The opposite may be true. Environmental regulations can in fact increase worker productivity and overall capital accumulation. 
According to new research, with green taxes having largest potential effect on the productivity, the social class and wealth of your ancestors, even as far back as 600 years ago, partly determine your current income. There is a glass floor that protects descendants of the upper class from falling down the economic ladder. Inheritance is a privilege. Grandiose narcissists often emerge as leaders, but they are no more qualified than non-narcissists and have negative effects on the entities that they lead. Their characteristics including grandiosity, self-confidence, entitlement, willingness to exploit others, make them more effective political actors. A study reveals that 62% of the people report having useful dreams and 9% even use dreams to make important life decisions. You see, I remember a quote from Thomas Edison, never go to sleep without a request to your subconscious. So, you know, the sleep is really productive in one sense that we even make decisions when we are sleeping. You know, it's also related to a psychological effect called the Zygarnik effect. So, leaving project unfinished, you know, so that we can ruminate upon it subconsciously with uh, you know, trying to think about that projects or essays that you write, you can leave the sentence in the middle, you know, so that is a, a very good productivity tip. So Twitter bots are major source of climate disinformation. Researchers determined that nearly 9.5% of the users in their sample were likely bots, but those bots, that is just 9.5%, accounted for 25% of the total tweets about the climate change. See, coming to life and environment related stories, a quarter of all non bee species haven't been seen since 1990s. Very alarming story. And how to help the bees plant more native plants instead of exotic uh, flowering plants. So, look for the native plants from the wilderness and plant it in, in your backyard. Deforestation dropped by 18 percentage in two years in African countries where organizations subscribe to receive warnings from a new service using satellites to detect decreases in the forest cover in the tropics. So the carbon emissions avoided were worth between 149 million. That's fantastic. So the GIS is helping the policy makers for, with the law enforcement. That is actually uh, translating to reduced, you know, uh, the deforestation in Africa. I hope uh, this uh, this trans this kind of phenomenon happens uh, rest of the world as well. New research reveals that the bacteria have internal clocks that align with 24-hour cycle of life on Earth. You know, the circadian rhythm in uh, non-photosynthetic bacteria is a very exciting piece of story published last month. The research answers a long-standing biological question that could have implications for the timing for drug delivery, biotechnology and how we develop timely solutions for crop protection. Researchers in Japan have made first observations of the biological magnetoreception, live unaltered cells responding to a magnetic field in the real time. This discovery is a crucial step in understanding how animals from birds to butterflies navigate using Earth's magnetic field. Like Arctic Turn, I remember one very exciting piece of story published a few years back. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it's about the dogs. Uh, the, the study analyzed uh, thousands of dogs, you know. It says 5,582 urinations and 1,893 defecations of the dogs. So what they found is that dogs prefer to poo along north-south axis. Oh, friends, I love science. The science is full of curiosity-driven questions and answers like this and is it only for the animals how about human beings of course we are animal right so yes uh, there are evidences for the human geomagnetic sense so this is from uh, a you know a study from the Caltech which they publish in several journals so you know you can link up in the reference section of this video the Shaw notes I have covered this uh, human geomagnetism in uh, one of the earlier episodes of curiosity too so now we know that why platypus, which belongs to monotremes, you know, are so weird. Their genes are part bird, reptile and mammal. So the whole genome sequence of the platypus, uh, which has been published last month, reveals that it's it's an alacarte of, uh, you know, the, the bird, reptile and mammal. It's very exciting. So by the way, this 
a platypus that that uh, that is found only in australia you know the western australia which is uh, it you know it's a sub aquatic species so platypus is the male members of platypus are venomous uh, and uh, it's it's very strange right the duck like bill you know and very exciting kind of an animal very weird or quad looking and of course the platypus uh, is only one among two animals or mammals uh, uh, the other one is echidna which is uh, egg laying egg laying mammal you know and of course the platypus doesn't have nipper uh, it just oozes out the milk through its skin you know very very interesting uh, creature so new maps show that the forest absorbs twice as much carbon as they release each year the continued destruction of the world's largest tropical forest around 11.9 million hectares of the tropical tree cover was lost in 2019 alone makes them less powerful carbon sinks so uh, it's a high time for us to protect our uh, you know the forest especially the tropical forests here in india the rich causes seven times more emissions than the poor you know so the study presents the first nationwide region and class specific assessment of the carbon footprint using the consumption data across 623 districts and 2,3313 house forests so the pattern might be very similar rest of the world as well the rich the carbon footprint the carbon footprint is basically the, the you know how much is a co2 emission a per capita a co2 emission you know the, the carbon footprint is pretty high uh, for the rich everywhere in the world here in india as well coming to medicine and diagnostics related stories korean scientists developed the techniques for diagnosing prostate cancer from urine with only 20 minutes with almost 100 percent accuracy using artificial intelligence and biosensor without the need for invasive biopsy exciting piece of information there are several stories where ai is involved with the uh, uh, medical diagnostics especially with the ct scan and mri scans and even x-rays it may be further utilized in precise diagnosis of other cancers using urine test but remember the the main issue with prostate cancer is over treatment you know of the less aggressive varieties so less aggressive varieties don't need no treatment you know but we uh, we do a excessive chemotherapy and that have adverse effect so monitoring uh, of the low risk uh, people are perfectly fine with this prostate cancer biomarkers in father's sperm linked to the offspring or to some friends these biomarkers are epigenetic and can be passed down to future generation epigenetic is uh, above one step above the genetics so it is not coded on the genome but it's actually uh, you know the expression patterns for example methylation is uh, you know transferred from one generation to the next in a set of blind tests, researchers were able to use these to determine whether other men had fathered autistic children with 90% accuracy, which is a small Spanish study. How about mothers? Yet another study published last month is about biomarkers in mother's plasma, predicting a type of autism in offspring with 100% accuracy. It's for the first time that machine learning has been used to identify with 100% accuracy maternal autoantibody related autism spectral disorder. So specific patterns as a potential biomarkers for AST risk. So remember this machine learning uh, in, uh, in the last story also I've covered that. So AI and machine learning is nowadays uh, widely used with the medical diagnostics. The COVID-19 pandemic, which claimed more than 336,000 lives in the US alone in 2020, has significantly affected the life expectancy. Life expectancy at birth for the Americans will shorten by 1.13 years to 77.48 years. That is the largest single year decline in life expectancy in at least 40 years. And perhaps, unfortunately, the same trend might be occurring elsewhere in the world as well. You know, the world's average life expectancy is 72.6 years, while here in India it's much lower, 69.42 years. This is the figure pre-COVID-19. So perhaps our life expectancy will reduce post-COVID-19. Despite more than 12 years of data supporting HPV vaccine, that is the human papilloma virus vaccine, being safe and effective against genital warts and cancer, a new study found that Facebook post helped facilitate the belief that HPV vaccine is dangerous to health. 
with nearly 40 percentage of the post about HPV vaccine, amplifying a perceived risk. Cancer cells hibernate like bears in winter to survive chemotherapy. All cancer cells may have the capacity to enter the states of dormancy as survival mechanism to avoid the destruction from the chemotherapy. The mechanism these cells deploy notably resembles one used by hibernating animals. COVID-19 is not influenza. In hospital mortality was 16.9 percentage with COVID-19 and 5.8 percentage with influenza. So COVID-19 is almost, uh, you know, three times larger. Mortality was 10 times higher in children aged 11 to 17 years with COVID-19 than in patients with the same age groups with influenza, a paper published in Lancet in the last month reveals. A new study suggests that more than half of the doctors, nurses and emergency respondents uh, involved with COVID-19 care could be at risk for more one or more mental health problems including acute traumatic stress, depression, anxiety, problematic alcohol use and insomnia. So doctors already suffer from significantly higher amount of uh, burnout, you know, psychological burnout rate and nurses suffer higher than normal mental health issues pre-COVID-19 as well. So the COVID-19 simply aggravates the entire risk. Lack of sleep and stress can lead to symptoms resembling concussion, uh, you know, the brain injury. Uh, between 11% and 27% of healthy college athletes with no history of recent concussion reported symptoms that met criteria for post-concussion syndrome, that is PCS, predicted by lack of sleep, pre-existing mental health problems and stress. Coming to new stories from the last month, first is COVID-19 treatment and vaccine update. First is treatment, uh, there is no updates, so only one approved drug uh, by the Gilead Sciences Remdesivir and the brand name is Venclury. So unfortunately we don't get this medicine in the market yet here in India. And now coming to vaccine, we have five candidates at phase three clinical trial, despite all the fanfare and all the media glory that we have several vaccines, but none of the vaccine have really got approval from FDA, you see, or here in India as well. We have only emergency use approval, you know, and we right now we have five candidates and uh, of course all the five candidates, we don't have any addition from the last month. And the update is that Novavax have published their phase 3 clinical trial data which is 90% effective uh, which is a very good news indeed. And we now have four candidates at the phase 2 clinical trial. Uh, the addition is Innovio Pharmaceuticals which is a Chinese Beijing based firm. Coming to other news, student ebooks cost 500% more than in print price causing post COVID-19. It's a very alarming trend, uh, not at all acceptable. Origins of the money. The researchers found that 70% of certain bronze objects from the early bronze age, that is approximately 3000 BC, are distinguishably the same weight, implying they were created to be interchangeable. Shaped like rings, axe blades and ribs, they are thought to be the first evidence of the currency approximately 5,000 years back. You know. Countries led by women have not fared significantly better in COVID-19 pandemic than those led by men. I have read this story uh, oftentimes in uh, Facebook and many friends do share this, uh, you know, this graphics, infographics in uh, WhatsApp and Twitter as well, but uh, there is no truth in it. So scientists have shown that a tilt of rotation axis of Saturn is caused by its moons, uh, which is predicted to increase over the next billion years. Of course, a tilt is affected by the moons uh, of all the planets, you know, indeed. So research that modeled on combination of ventilation and air purification in elevators concludes no ventilation works best for minimizing COVID-19 spread inside the elevator, you know, the lift. So another reason to take the stairs instead of the lifts. So Apple has moved its operations to Ireland to evade the US taxes. I learned this only recently, but this, this is not a new story. You know, Apple, the, the famous American uh, multinational company is com almost completely based in Ireland. Remember, it's not about manufacturing. Of course, the manufacturing uh, is in the China, like in many of the multinational American or Japanese companies do have uh, their manufacturing in the China. It's not about that. But the operations are completely based in Ireland. And it's just to evade the US taxes, you know. 
is it ethical of course uh, you know I, I would say it's completely unethical a practice that the Apple is doing and there will be three Mars missions in this year especially in this month you see US China and UAE uh, in the February I will come to it in a short while you know the Mars uh, orbiting uh, you know uh, by all these three countries China's building China building its own space station called Tiangong uh, because ISS, that is International Space Station, which is orbiting around 4, 427 kilometers uh, up in the uh, space uh, from the you know the Earth's surface, uh, it is which is nearing its retirement in 2024. So ISS has got only three more years to go, and replacement China is already building its uh, its own space station called Tiangong. Next is Boeing, the U.S. aircraft firm, uh, which enters the space travel industry as well through Starliner CST-100 reusable spacecraft capsule. Fantastic idea. It's a reusable, you know, it's not a use and throw. So it's very sustainable solution too. Webb is the successor to Hubble Space Telescope by NASA. You know, Webb is the successor to the Hubble Space. Remember, Hubble Space Telescope has recently been retired. And Webb features highly sensitive cameras made in Germany. Bitten cancels Keystone Excel pipeline and rejoins Paris Climate Agreement. Exciting piece of information. You know, the job Biden, the, the new US president, uh, which is uh, in, insisting on the science centered policy making. So, by the way, Keystone Excel pipeline is a pipeline from the, uh, the oil fields of up in north, the Canada to the Gulf. You know, so they completely cancel it that agreement now uh, it's which is very good you know the fossil fuel uh, it's not good for the sustainability isn't it and rejoins the Paris climate agreement for in support of the climate action you know so this is a tweet by the president science will always guide my administration you know lots of respect to you president Biden. it's amazing uh, uh, you know the, the kind of policy I hope that you can deliver you know so yeah so uh, another story which has been uh, featured in the BBC natural wonder wing clap source and mystery of the butterfly flight so you might wonder uh, do the science have no answer till date how the butterflies fly yeah, you are right. We, we still have no answer. So this is a, a piece uh, of uh, study from University of Lund in Sweden uh, published last month. You know, uh, that is that actually shows that uh, it's a combination of, uh, uh, you know, that uh, of, of flipping movement and flap closure of these wings and uh, that actually propels the butterfly through aerodynamic properties so that is a very exciting piece of story yeah that is a you know that that came as a big surprise how about airplanes you might wonder no we still don't have any clue why planes stay in the air you see that <laughs> this is a story from the science scientific America. it's a very old story well most of us have traveled in airplanes but <laughs> you know it, it, it's a big surprise that science don't know how the airplanes stay in the air you see majority of the the innovations that is happening in science and technology are uh, not planned you know these are actually by uh, you know something called tinkering even the medicines in modern evidence-based medicine uh, we exactly don't know how it works but we have solid evidence that it works you know and scientists are still studying their best to know how it works you know the, the how questions are really profound so we still don't know how the planes stay in the air we just know that by practice so in one sense curiosity driven uh, tinkering matters a lot more than uh, you know the experiments in science uh, this is a paper published last month in uh, PLOS computational biology protein VR web-based molecular visualization in virtual reality so it's basically the VR headset for visualization of the molecule very interesting you know and we can use this VR uh, to, for the teaching also especially in the biophysics uh, three-dimensional visualization of protein for example spike protein of COVID-19 virus uh, uh, novel uh, coronavirus SARS-CoV-2 uh, is really important while deciding the treatment scenarios you know for the COVID-19 so two new species of ants discovered from Kerala and Tamil Nadu by Himendra Bharati. Uh, he is based here in Punjab, you know, Punjabi University in Patiala. So these uh, two ant species were named as uh, Usaria joshii and uh, uh, Usaria decamera. So this joshii is an honor for the professor of uh, Indian Institute of Science, Amitabh Joshi, uh, uh, you know, a very uh, well-known figure in evolutionary biology. 
and apparently the himendar party is uh, uh, you know he is uh, is a good friend of uh, amitabh joshi so in uh, in you know in taxonomy this is how the nomenclature is you no know? so uh, people name uh, you know the friends and uh, especially the well wishers and their mentors as uh, uh, paying homage you know so that is what uh, a large number of taxonomists uh, they practice this you know this this practice in in uh, uh, in any kind of uh, nomenclature botanical or zoological nomenclature you see a new orange and black bat species is always ready for halloween a new species of uh, orange bat discovered in namba mountains of uh, guinea you know the african country kenya an orange bat how cute it is uh, you know how curiosity driven the science is isn't it plus one another paper it says that characterization of asr gene and its role in drought tolerance in chickpea you know so the chickpea drought tolerance mechanism has been revealed in this plus one paper and this is by supriya sachdeva in icar that is indian council of agriculture research in new delhi a very landmark paper i would say you know of course uh, chickpea is uh, you know it's a, it's basically a pulse and uh, you know it's a world pulse day is coming up 10th of february uh, it's a un world pulse day so uh, you know this news this breakthrough came quite nearing uh, the world pulse day uh, lots of respect for these researchers from icar so fertilizers livestock and biomes burning are spewing ammonia into the air across india uh, that is a very alarming story you see that air pollution is one of the uh, important uh, cause of death in one of the earlier episode of the curiosity i've covered that more than 1 lakh infant deaths can be attributed to air pollution here in india you know we really need to improve the health of the the air as well as the uh, the food that we eat as well as the water that we drink so the world's biggest drone ravenex will send satellites into the space on rocket uh, this is a story published in the indian express sundarbans home for 428 species of birds that is what the zsis new uh, record say largest sea on saturn's moon titan could be more than 1000 feet deep you know nasa's test mission discovers exoplanet in our galaxy older than the sun another uh, very interesting astronomy related story google maps improves the support for 10 indian languages and these languages are malayalam punjabi bangla marathi telugu tamil hindi gujarati kannada and odia i'm really surprised that even hindi was not in, in included in the uh, you know in the google map support now that we can actually search in any of these regional languages you know malayalam or punjabi uh, you know uh, or hindi uh, yes so that is really interesting uh, you know that's a good development from the google maps whatsapp's differential treatment of indian users a cause of concern that is what the center says in the delhi high court you know so remember that the rules the, the whatsapp uh, cannot share uh, the you know the the data with the facebook if uh, you are living in europe because european union have got very stringent rules on uh, data sharing you know and the privacy uh, but the whatsapp have recently uh, you know the, they insisted uh, that they are going to share the the, the use of data with the facebook here in india so that is a, that's a concern you know and that has actually led to severe backlash that many people have now quit whatsapp and jumped into a signal yeah, that's my uh, favorite we have covered that in one of the past episode of the curiosity you know the signal is really really uh, strong uh, it has got this back to back encryption and it's uh, you know it's an open source ware as well coming to observances in february for this international day of human fraternity sixth is international day for zero tolerance to female genital mutilation 10th is world pulses day 11th is international day of women and girls in science you know a very important day for us 12th is darwin day you know the, the the birth anniversary of uh, charles darwin 13th is world radio day 20th is world day of social justice 21st is international mother language day you know the mother tongue day 28th is national science day here in india you know so 21 theme is that 
the future of STI, that is Science, Technology and Innovation, impacts on education, skills and work. You know, the DST has uh, recently put up the draft STI, you know, STI 2021, that is Science, Technology, Innovation Policy. And perhaps because of that, uh, this year's uh, the theme of uh, National Science Day is Future of STI impacts on education skills and work. So by the way, this National Science Day is celebrated uh, to celebrate the discovery of uh, Raman effect by C.V. Raman. And remember, uh, C.V. Raman remains the last science novel from the Indian soil. So that, that happened in 1930. And since 1930, that is, that is during the British's time, remember? So post-independence, uh, uh, India has never produced a single uh, science Nobel Prize winner from our soil. That is uh, alarming indeed, you know. So we really have to work harder, isn't it? So 11th February is International Day for Women and Girls in Science. You know, that is really, really important day because women in science is a, a very important uh, theme for uh, Indian government as well, you know, the women in science. So coming to February astronomy related observances, 3rd February is asteroid 18, Melpomene at opposition. 7th is NGS2808, well placed. It's very good if you really want to uh, take a picture of this astronomical body. It's basically a circular, you know, or spherical uh, galaxy. 8th is Alpha Centauri, meteor shower, you know. And 9th is Al Amar, that, that means hop probe, that is a UA, United Arab Emirates probe to the Mars that starts orbiting. Remember this Al-Amar, they launched way back in July 2020, last year. And now it is nearing uh, to orbit the Mars, you know. Or only few countries have their satellites orbiting the Mars. India do have, way back in 2013. We have our Mangalyaan, isn't it? So, 10th is Tianwen, China to orbit Mars, so the Chinese Mars mission, Tianwen. So more and more countries are now approaching the Mars. Tenth is conjunction of the Moon and Saturn. Eleventh is Venus-Jupiter conjunction. Eighteenth is Perseverance, that is NASA's uh, Mars mission, lands on the Mars. You know, it's a Mars uh, landing. Nineteenth is Conjunction of the Moon and Mars. And twentieth is NGS 3114, well placed. Twenty-seventh is the full moon day, so-called snow moon. The full moon happening in the, in the month of February is called snow moon. It's culturally relevant uh, full moon day in several of the cultures throughout the world. Coming to opportunities in this month, uh, Serb Startup Grand, 1st March 2021 is the deadline. Serb Core Research Grand, 8th March is the deadline. Serb Teachers Associateship, 15th March is the deadline. Birak, 18th February. Cognitive Science Research Initiative, that is CSRI, 15th Feb. Digital Transformation for Green Energy Transition, MI Core 2020. Uh, 17th February is the deadline and fundamental research under bilateral program with Germany that is DBT DFG 28 February is the deadline Max Planck summer internship program that is Max SIP IMPRS for molecular life sciences 12th February is the deadline science technology and innovation policies fellowship program of the DST 19th February is the deadline. Indo-German Science and Technology Center, that is IGSTC, 25th February is the deadline. Accelerated Translational Grant for Commercialization, that is APGC, 28th February is the deadline. And YAM, that is Young Investigators Meeting, call is open now. 15th February is the deadline. Uh, this is the call is through the India Biosciences. Uh, you know, the, the website. That's it for this February episode of Curiosity. I hope you enjoyed this show. And if you like the show, please uh, share it in your relevant groups and uh, subscribe to this channel. And I will see you all in the next month. That is in the March episode of Curiosity. Until then, goodbye and please take care of yourself amidst this COVID-19 pandemic. And if you can, please take care of someone else too. Goodbye and see you soon.